I'm gonna take you through room by room and tell you all the projects I dream of. So I think we're gonna go for bold. Go for bold. I don't know, do I try that? It's kind of scary all of a sudden. <laughs> How are you? This is my first morning in the new house, which has been so wild. I slept on the floor and I woke up here and it feels fictional. It feels absolutely fictional. Oops, I shouldn't have closed that computer because I have footage uploading. I'm just getting a little bit of computer stuff done um, before. I mean, it's past eight now. Between eight and 12, a few people are coming by. Someone to check on this couch because they delivered it a little bit damaged. They said they could maybe fix it. I didn't coordinate it. It was just living spaces. And then also someone to turn on our gas because everything's heated through gas. We don't have hot water. We can't use the dryer, all, all the things, the stove. So I'm excited to get hot water so I can shower at some point today. But today is the big painting day, probably today and tomorrow. Might even take me longer than two days, but I'm hoping to remove wallpaper, patch holes, and paint the upstairs. I also found touch-up paint for here. They have patched up holes where they had a TV and stuff, and so I just need to like touch up paint in places. And um, I scheduled this for a day that Jordy is actually going to be gone most of the day because his photographer videographer flew in because they're getting album promo for him. I mentioned this in the last vlog. He wanted to paint for me, and I said, no, I really want to do it with the vlog. <laughs> so I planned this for a day that he'd be gone so that we could do it together because he's so sweet wants to do everything to help me but I like doing it with you guys because it's fun content and it's just like satisfying that's the plan for the day and tonight we're going to our favorite favorite crazy nice restaurant ever called Junet Jolie it's French it's Michelin star we've only been once for his birthday to celebrate the house so that's on tap for the day I need to like wash my face and get ready and do all of that stuff for the day. Let's get this party started. Washed my face, got a little bit ready for the day, still waiting for the gas and couch guys to come. But guys, <laughs> when I found out about what I'm about to tell you, I emailed my manager in all caps being like, do you know how huge this is for me? She was like, cool. I'm getting to work with Osea on today's video. And guess what their duo is? that I'm getting to tell you about. It involves the original product that I fell in love with. Guys, if you know me, you know that in December, I was staying in an Airbnb that had this face wash in the shower and I used it. I was there for, I was there for a few weeks and so I used it every day and I used it enough to where I noticed my skin change. And I was like, oh my gosh, I need to buy this. And I've bought it and I've used it consistently ever since then and I swear it has been the biggest thing that has made a difference in my skin. The thing that I think I really like about it is it actually does like exfoliate and clean out your pores, but it's pH balanced. So my skin never feels dry. It always just feels so clean and so hydrated. Now they have a duo that includes this so you can save money and they gave me a discount code on top of it. So this is the duo. It comes with the ocean cleanser, which I've talked about a million zillion times. I love it so much. This also has bentonite clay in it, which I think is one of the things that keeps my skin feeling so clean. And with the duo, you can also get this. This is the hyaluronic C serum. This is just so like dewy, plumping, hydrating. You put it on right after you cleanse. And it kind of delivers like this like firmer, more lifted look. I think it just makes my skin look really healthy. And so I like it a lot too. Of course it has hyaluronic acid, but it has other super cool ingredients like snow mushroom. Have you heard of that? And the thing is this duo already, if you buy them together, it's limited time. You save $26 and I have code Mikel10, which will save you another 10% off on top of that. Mikel10 I think works for the whole website. So I think you can save 10% on anything. There's so many things I love. They're also a California brand, which I feel like is just fitting. So thank you to Osea for partnering with me on this video and for letting me um, scream your name on the internet enough to now get to work with you. I'm gonna go put these in my new shower. I'm still feeling a little under the weather. Um, if you can't tell, I feel like my voice sounds really stuffy, but I really wanna paint. Like I just want to. We're gonna try I need to put on some painting clothes also. I'm worried I won't hear the workers when they come, so I just put a sign on the door being like, please knock loudly, I'll be upstairs painting. So let's go see. Let's go see what we gotta do up here. I think first thing, remove wallpaper. Second thing, 
patch holes. And then third will be remove plates and tape and prep. I don't know if the wallpaper goes underneath this like wood detail that they've added. I kind of feel like it does, which is a bummer because look, this pattern continues. Huh. I would like to keep this wood detail because I like how it adds depth and interest. And I would also kind of like to paint over it all one color. Oh, there's even kind of a, a um, not a chair rail, what do you call that, crown molding? Like it goes, like the wood goes along the ceiling too. So we'll see how hard this is to take down. <laughs> we'll see, we'll see. We're gonna see, it's all an experiment. I do think it's gonna be easy to take down the wallpaper on the normal walls. Oh yeah, look at that. That's gonna be so easy. Um, th this is the TBD. I do like this wallpaper. It's just a little excessive being across the whole room. And this is gonna be the guest room, you know, for now. And so I'm excited to kind of like play around with the style in here. I wanna go very like chic boutique hotel, really dark paint colors in here because I, I never really have permission to do that since I normally want to film everywhere. So like a deep olive, we, we bought the paint already, but then lighten it up with like light linens and lamps and all sorts of things. So it's just kind of like a moody vibey room. It's gonna be really fun, but Let's let's get to work. Let's start. Let's start prepping this place and see how it goes. Where does it go? couple hours later but I have everything prepped in both the rooms I'm just waiting for some of the like spackled putty to finish drying so I can sand it um, I have all of the plates off all of the walls I think the one in this room is going to take a long time to dry because the holes were so big there and there so I might start painting the other room first and I started taping the trim it's a lot of effort for like not even that easy of a clean line application so i'm kind of wondering if i try cutting without tape and i might start on that in here while i wait for the rest of the holes to be ready to be sanded also the gas guy's here and he's um turning on the gas and checking all the appliances so we're getting things done so i don't know do i try that it's kind of scary all of a sudden <laughs> Okay, I'm about halfway through. You can kind of see what the color is gonna look like here. It's drying a little bit darker and it's looking a little bit darker than I thought it would, but I also think once, like there's gonna be a white couch in here and like a lot of light furniture, I think it's gonna be good. But I'm realizing I've never painted on carpet before and a lot can go wrong and I'm kind of not trusting myself with a color as dark as this dark, dark, dark green. Literally this dark, it's so dark. I'm not trusting myself 
doing that, especially because the paint is drying darker than I expect. What I think I'm probably gonna do is finish this room by myself and swatch this in the new room, maybe even a pretty big swatch just to like see how it's looking and then price out somebody painting just that room for us because I don't want to get this dark of paint on the rug. I actually saw they got some of the navy on the rug in there when they had painted it, I guess, and it looks pretty bad <laughs> around the carpet. So that's kind of what I'm thinking. I'm going to take a matcha break, matcha o'clock, and um, then come back and finish off these two walls. It's basically two walls down, two walls to go, and then I have to cut the ceiling, which isn't too bad. I made my little matcha in I guess a Young Life cup, because <laughs> there's nothing here. Two big packages just arrived. I guess Jordy ordered a bodyboard. This is my life now, isn't it? And two is a fun wedding thing, actually. Oh my gosh. This is the biggest box. This is hilarious. Okay, so. Nisolo, which is a shoe brand that Jordy and I both love, they make this shoe called the Hirache. We Hirache? He lives in. He proposed wearing them. He wears them on stage. I gave them to him and they've become like his whole personality. Nisolo and I chat on Instagram sometimes and I told them, I was like, what if, what if all the groomsmen in our wedding wore those same shoes? And that was like the gift we gave them and also everyone would be uniform and matching. And they're like, honestly, we love it. We'll send you some. And I was like, okay, but there's gonna be 11 of them. Jordy and 10 groomsmen. And they're like, it's okay, we'll still send you some, which is so kind. Ooh, these are sharp. So all the groomsmen will be wearing this. Do you wanna see the vibe? The vibe for the groomsmen? This is the inspo vibe. Just a linen short sleeve button down shirt. I'm gonna hopefully find one and just like order it for everybody and then tell them to bring their own pants. So monochromatic with these. Just like super chill beachy. I don't want anybody to be all stuffy in a suit, you know? I want them to be relaxed and have a good time. And I think that that's just gonna like kind of set, set the vibe. Um, I'm still debating for bridesmaids. I'm kind of between either a blue green color palette like this and having everybody just get their own dress. And then I would have Jacqueline in a pattern dress that has blue and green. And then everybody else just like pick a solid dress that has that same vibe. Or I was just marketed this TikTok the other day and I was like, ooh, I don't know. You can see it tiny in the TikTok, just like espresso brown. You know what I mean? Anyways, so we're still deciding on that, but this caffeine is much needed. I'm gonna finish painting this dang room, listen to another podcast, and then swatch the green and sit on it and price out how much it would cost to have professionals do it. Because if I get green on trim and ceilings and carpet, like that's, that's gonna be hard. That's gonna be hard to fix. Anyways, these are my updates for you. <laughs> I had a helper show up, his shoot wrapped, and we finished the room pretty much. We're gonna do a second coat of the trim. And I like went and did some patches, which is why it looks patchy. I just like, wherever it looked a little bald, you know, did a little bit more, but I'm actually really loving it. And I do think cutting the top has been hard because it's so textured. I really do think I would like to add crown molding down the line to like make this room feel more like rich and warm and then also make that look more professional. But while we're waiting, for that to dry for us to do a second coat. We're gonna go swatch this green and we're gonna see what we think about it. Also, another little side note is we're rescheduling our dinner tonight, which I'm bummed about, but until I feel a little bit better just to be safe and also my nose is stuffy so I can't taste much. And I was like, how much of a bummer would it be to be like looking so forward to going back to this restaurant for a special occasion and then like not really be able to taste the food. So we're gonna have a night in tonight after all instead of doing that, which I think is probably responsible. I think I just have a cold, but um, you never know these days. So gonna lay low tonight and stay around home. It's probably good. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. I mean, she dark. She dark, she hollow. She olive. Is it like, ooh, cool, earthy olive, or is it a little like baby diarrhea? It's, I think it's a great color. I think the whole, the question will be, do you want to go that, that dark? Okay, against the blue, I like it even more. I feel like color theory, when you see it with other colors, it like throws off your perception. But we're gonna let it dry. We're gonna see how it looks when it's dry because it might get darker. 
but I think I, I think I really like it. See, like this looks a lot more brown undertone on the yellow, but it looks a lot more like sage olive undertone on the blue. So when it's all that one color, you know, it'll look somewhere between those. But I think I like it. I think I'm gonna do it. I got a closet, got a closet full of Nisolo. <laughs> so I'm taking all of the boxes apart that I can because today's trash day. And that's something you think about when you're in a house and not an apartment. I forgot that that's a thing. So trying to get all the boxes deconstructed and the paint is dried in here. And it really does look so good. Like this will be the background for a lot of my videos, this color. Here's a little bit better lighting. Picture it with my furniture. And this is officially dried too. And I think I do like it. So I think we're gonna go for bold, go for bold. But I've promised Jordy I'm gonna take the rest of the night to rest because to be honest, I'm not feeling very good. I'm running a fever, but like that's nothing unlike it for me. I'm running actually a 101, which is a little high, but I spike fevers like at least twice a week just cause autoimmune. And it's always a game of like, is this autoimmune flare on top of a cold? Is it something more? So I'm gonna rest. I'm gonna rest and I'm not gonna think about how I get these off the wall. I'm not gonna do that today. I'm not gonna do it today. I think they literally just glued them. It's gonna be hard to figure that out because there's no nails. Tomorrow, I'm gonna talk through all of my long-term visions and dreams of all the projects I've thought of so far that I want to eventually do mostly for fun and to make this like my absolute, you know, dream space with a lot of our personality in it. And guys, you would not believe how many ideas I got up here. Of course, we're gonna space them out over the next couple of years, but I can't wait to share them all with you. So. We'll do that tomorrow. Okay. I think this chair's broken. Oh, okay. Yep. Good morning. Second morning waking up in our house. It's so weird. I've already had a coffee, but I'm making another one. And Jordy is, we had, we grilled steak last night here and we have leftover steak. And so he was like, have you ever had steak and eggs? And I was like, well, no, cause I can't have eggs. And he was like, I'm going to go get just eggs so that you can have steak and eggs which I'm really excited about. So he ran to the store, we're gonna have steak and eggs for breakfast. And um, tonight we're doing our engagement photos and videos and I really hope I don't look sick because I still don't feel very good. I placed a mobile order from Lowe's. So I'm gonna have some things delivered. I'm gonna do low energy projects today, mostly because I really want to. And then get cute for tonight for our photos. Guys, this is gonna be in the background of my vlogs for like years. Buckle up. Okay, first things first, let's talk about this school bus yellow front door. For now, I'm just gonna paint it. I'm probably gonna paint the inside white and the outside I wanna find like a light blue. But down the line, I wanna move this to the back door to the garage because the garage door is um, very cheap. Oh, here comes the boys. And gets no light in the garage and Jordy's gonna make that his studio. And then I would want to replace this down the line. But today I might go ahead and paint it white on the inside because I found the white interior paint. Long term, this is like my dream door. You know, something a little more timeless this window is it's not tempered it's almost like textured i don't know what you call that there has to be a name for it something like that and painting it like you know a, a oceany blue but for now this this yellow stresses me out so i'll probably try to paint the interior of the store maybe today next let's talk about this little wet bar area which i think is so cool um, the thing that I don't love are these glass tiles. Let me flip you around and show you. I think they are very cool. They're just a little too like glamorous for my taste. My taste is very earthy, you know, earth tones, whatever. So eventually I would like to retile it. I'm considering if I retile it down the road, experimenting first with painting over them just to see how it works because Worst case scenario, I would then just be retiling it anyways. But I love this vibe of like earthy colors of vertically stacked tiles to almost do like a stripe pattern. Or I also like this vibe a lot. So we'll see. But I think if I paint it, I could probably, since these are vertically stacked tiles, paint the stripes similarly to this, except for this is super shiny glass. So I don't know how paint would adhere to it. I've watched a lot of tutorials and I only feel like 40% confident it would work out. And long-term, you wanna know a silly dream of mine? It's probably never gonna happen. This side, there's this cabinet space underneath, right? Getting a keg put here for kombucha. 
and you have kombucha on tap at the wet bar. Wouldn't that be a dream? We could even do two taps, one with like nitro cold brew and one with kombucha. I hardly use the bar. I mean, it comes with a wine fridge, which is super cool, but Jordy and I both don't really ever drink. Um, you know, lately I've been tolerating champagne to celebrate all of the things that call for celebrations, but a kombucha tap would be my dream. <laughs> I haven't showed y'all this bathroom yet. They had wallpapered it with like this peacock wallpaper, which I actually think is so fun and I do wanna keep. Um, there's no sort of outlet over here. This is the only light source, there's no power, but I think it'd be really cool to figure out a way to do some sort of moody lighting over here by the sink. We'll figure that out down the line. But kitchen, I've showed y'all the um, lamp shades that I got to replace these. I'll, I'll go pull them out in case you missed that last vlog. I got these from Etsy. They're hand woven and they're so beachy. I just think I'm gonna need to rewire a different type of light. So I think I'll need to wait for an electrician to hang these, but this will be the vibe. So much beachier, earthier, more organic kind of, kind of a feel. The other thing I really want to do in this kitchen, this is going to be so controversial because I recognize this is so nice, but all the drawer pulls are like this like bright gold. And there's so many of them and they are so nice, but yet again, they're a little glamorous for my taste. I would love to replace them with something vintage. I love these, but I think it might be a little excessive for as many drawers as there are here, but this is like a floral painted vintage bronze pole. I do think it might be a little much. So an alternative is just like a white porcelain or something. I don't know, I don't know. I'm gonna have to sit on it for a while because it is so many. I think it's like 40 different pulls. So it's a lot of them, but I would love to switch that out with something more vintage. Looking this way, I'm gonna have my table here and there's a plug. So I'm thinking of like finding some sort of pinned in light that we could just plug in here and hanging it over the table to make the table feel more intentional. It'll probably be pushed a little more this way. Um, so like hanging a light essentially here. And this is where our surfboard is gonna go. If you've seen my wedding planning videos, you know I wanna do a surfboard as our guest book. So I have a very vintage surfboard here with a cool hanging light and then like my cool table. And we're not really talking furniture, but eventually the couch is gonna be on this side facing this way. And something that I think would be so cool because this piano is gonna be here. Something that I think would be so cool is center this on the wall and make pocket shelves into the drywall because there's not a lot, like there's a lot of shelves in the kitchen, but that's for plates and cups and stuff. So there's not a lot of spots to display like trinkets in this house. So this is like super long-term as well. And I don't know how deep we can go into that wall, but adding something like that for some architectural interest, I think could be really nice and kind of doing it around where the piano would be so that we have the space. I think it would also be really cool to add lights into those little cutouts to have some like mood lighting at night and just be able to display our little trinkets. Oh, I keep remembering all of my thoughts. Another thought I have is there's this lip in the ceiling right here. And I think it would be so fun to add a faux beam to that, just to add more warmth and like architectural interest as well. And this is not a long-term change, but you wanna know my dream. <laughs> okay, the couch is gonna be here facing this way. And then on this wall, on the ceiling right here, do you know what I'm gonna hang? Do you wanna see? A swing! <laughs> We're gonna have a swing in the den. That's my dream. That's my hope. That's my desire. Cause it's kind of indoor outdoor and I just think it's so whimsical and fun and it would just be so fun to like, you know, people are outside and you just, you can face that way, you can face this way. It's like a versatile piece of furniture and it's, you can find them online for 40 bucks, but we'll need someone to properly install it to be like load bearing, if that makes sense. But those are my dreams for the main living space, which is like where most of my ideas are. But let me walk you through the other spaces too and just tell you my ideas so far. The bedroom, I don't have too many notes, honestly. It'll be bed against this wall, side tables, dresser over here, kind of similarly to the way my room is laid out now, this door. I'm not really a fan of it. A, it just doesn't feel very private because the bathroom is like right there. So just like having a glass door, you can't see through it, but it makes me a little bit uncomfortable. And also it's just very hyper modern and there's no rush for this. But my dream is to just every time I'm at an antique store, or whatever, keep my eye out for a really cool antique door 
and either have it be raw wood or painted. I think I have some Enso pictures for this and just put it on the existing hardware, honestly. Um, I don't think that that will be too hard. Bathroom, not a lot I wanna do anytime soon, except for one thing, maybe for practical reasons. I just have a lot of skincare and beauty products and this is the only storage which is enough for just me, but for sharing it, I don't know. So eventually I'd like to replace this mirror with a, um, like a medicine cabinet mirror. And I found some that are basically this size that have like three different glass things in it, which I think would be really nice. Those are really pricey though. And I think that you have to kind of inlay them into the wall and this is not a very deep wall. So I'm going to, you know, hold off on that and consult a professional. Another thing is this, towel bar is just a very weird placement. I don't know why they put it there when there's this whole wall. <laughs> so I'll probably put more of, like I, I remove that probably, maybe just move it or have more towel hooks or something. So I might do, you know, art and or hooks along this wall to have towels, robes, that sort of thing. This bathroom is totally fine for now. We can leave it as it is. It can be a passion product down the line to like make it a little more me. But it's great, it's clean, it's new, it's nice. No notes for now. No notes until I'm done with everything else and I'm bored and I just wanna do something for fun. Office, you already know the drill. One day I would like to replace these carpets because there's actually quite a few stains that I didn't really realize till I was painting, but I don't hate it, it's fine for now. Obviously window treatments, whatever, furniture, not a ton. In here, sorry, I've moved the couch aside because I was trying to get all these screws out of the wall. In here, this is the texture that I love. I love this, look at it. Isn't that, it's like almost like a stucco kind of texture. This is what I think would be really cool to tie into downstairs somehow, but I love it. Um, this, I could see me wanting to strip it and just have it be lighter one day, but it's fine for now also. It's this area that I would actually love opinions on. So this we're gonna use as like a desk space. We're gonna take down these shelves and this is gonna be my gallery wall of all of my art from all of my travels that I have right now in my guest bath in my apartment. The thing is, is I might use those olive chairs that I have in my like sitting room here and I wanna repaint this a different color and I can't decide what color because if the chair is gonna be olive, I'm thinking maybe like a charcoal could be interesting. I could go with a lighter color, but there's gonna be photos all along this wall. So I kind of feel like a darker color in between them could kind of just be fun. And also I wanna know if I paint this wall, what are your opinions on me painting this? Cause I just don't love the wood tones of this, but I don't know if it will cheapen it to all be painted the same color, but I think it could make it look kind of like a cool built-in situation if the wall and the desk were the same color. I had pulled some of these colors I don't know, like a more charcoal-y kind of graphite gray. I don't know. I don't know. I can't quite picture what would look good with everything else in here being white and super light and bright. But I, I do kind of want one moody accent wall, but the this room is gonna be the one that's a super dark green. The chair in here is gonna be olive. And we've already talked about in here, I think today I might actually caulk these because they're kind of, you know, they're not, attached to the wall so that when painters come they can just paint all over it and what i'm picturing is do you know the like the lamps that i have on my wall next to my bed now doing it's basically the exact same furniture i'm going to have in my room now is moving up here and we're getting new furniture for the bedroom downstairs so i'm thinking my bed and then between these do like one of the lamps one of the lamps which could just be really cool I think if the spacing works out, I don't know actually, we'll see. We'll see how the spacing works out with the bed, but I do love that. And so I would love to just paint over that. But otherwise, this room is gonna basically have my current bedroom furniture in it. So I think it should be good. I think I'm gonna have the white boucle bench here since the room's gonna be so dark, just bring in like all the, all the light furniture into here. But not a ton, not a ton of long-term like structural changes in here. And today, I think, I think I'm gonna take it pretty chill. So I think my project's goals are continue patching some holes downstairs, really above the piano, really needs help because it's that's where they had a TV. So I need to also paint. Might go ahead and caulk the room in there and then also paint the interior of the front door. Those are the couple things I wanna do today that aren't too 
you know, high, high maintenance. I think first order of business, I just spackle in the remaining hole so that it can dry and I can sand it before we paint. Let's do it. Let's see what's happening in here. Oh. 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 Sorry, oh, what? Did I walk in on something? Um, no, we just, no. We just, I didn't think you'd be done this early. <laughs> just hanging out. Yeah, just, just vibing with a microphone and a spotlight. Yeah, being normal. Just, just, yeah, just boys being boys. Just having boy time. Just All right. Boys. Okay. You boys have fun. Okay. And ta da! We got a white door. Another day I'll figure out the color for the other side and do that, but it's nice that it's just the same color as everything else in here for now, and like I said, one day maybe we'll replace it, but for now, at least there's not bright yellow in the background of my videos. We're about to go take our engagement pictures. In case I look sick in them, now you know why, but I was gonna change into two different dresses. Only one of Jordy's shirts fit, and also I'm realizing there's not a spot for me to like change discreetly, so I'm actually just gonna wear this dress, which is so pretty. It's from Cezanne, I opened it the other day. I'll link it for y'all, but I do think it gives kind of like lighthouse. I'm thinking, you know, like barefoot vintage. Was this taken in the 50s? Was this taken today? We can't really tell that that type of vibe. So I think that this fits fits the vibe for sure. Okay, we're off. Bad news: lighthouse was closed. It was closed. Good news: we're at a a marina now. We found boats, so we're gonna pivot to boats for now. Maybe get lighthouse another day, which is fine because hopefully I'll be feeling better another day and therefore we'll look better another day. But we'll get some boats, some boat shots. cute video and photo even though we couldn't go to the lighthouse boats always come in clutch when we picked up there's a really great spot in um, I think they might have two locations but in Encinitas called bird's eye and they have Thai food and just kind of a fusion actually um, and I got gluten-free pho because I really am craving soup. But tomorrow I'm starting a whole new vlog with Mama and Papa Jancy where we go dress shopping. And this guy's going out of town. He's going on to another show. But I'm excited to see y'all tomorrow. And I wanted to say thanks again to Osea for partnering with me on this video. I'm gonna have my code and my discount and all that information linked down in the description. And we still have so many more days here and so many more fun things to do. So. I'm looking forward to it. I hope you have the best rest of your day and I'll see you in a video very soon.